lovely friends welcome to my channel creative art i am nilima and today we are going to do a mixed media art using deco page mixed media art can be really fun doing because it really can bring out the concept of your painting and let your imagination flow without restricting it to the medium so friends in this video i'm going to show you how you can do a very easy and simple mixed media art by using deco page and balance all the mediums in such a way that each medium will complement the other one without disturbing or letting down your imagination so friends please to watch the whole video to make this beautiful mixed media art yourself and do subscribe my channel friends for more creative art painting videos and do press the bell icon to get notifications for each video i post every week so enjoy this diy now friends friends let's quickly check out all the materials we are going to need for this diy first of all i'm going to tell you all the different type of mediums i'm going to use so the first one is a decoupage paper you get this pack of four sheets of a4 size decoupage papers for just rupees 75 so this is a steel deal i think and this is the design i have selected for this diy next for doing the decoupage we are going to need decoupage a magic premium glue and decoupage varnish and i'm using both of them the, the glossy version the next medium is acrylic paint so i'm going to use french rose acrylic paint chalk mat and snow acrylic paint chalk mat these are from home decor collection little bird and the next medium is to use a texture paste so this is a very special texture paste i'm going to use this is a rose milk stone texture paste okay so you'll see the effect when we will do it and stencils to give it shape you can select any shape of stencil you like i have selected the musical one and this is a floral small stencil the next medium is a metallic wax this is of copper blaze i have specially selected this one to give a antique look to my paintings and other than that friends you're going to need a canvas board i'm going to use a 10 into 12 inch canvas board palette knife paint brushes and scissors so let's start now friends so now friends First of all, I'm going to place my decoupage paper on the canvas. Then I will be applying acrylic paint, and after that, I will be creating few textures. And finally, then I'll be doing the metallic work to give it the final look, and then the varnishing. Okay, so this is going to be the whole steps. So let's start with the decoupage part first. First of all, friends, I'm going to take out my decoupage paper. This one is my selection. This is a perfect fit for my canvas board. So now I have to check where do I need to separate it from. So I see a gap over here. So I'll separate it from this part to this part. I'll get one section here, one foot section of the lady with few flowers in this section. The next third section is going to be from this flower till here. So this will be the third cutout piece. And finally, this is the whole long piece which I can actually place at the right side. Okay, if needed, we'll use this part or else we will leave it as it is. So first of all, I will start by cutting the paper using scissors. So I'm going to make a big cuts like this. But I'm not using the whole image. I don't need it. I'll later on show you how to do the finishing part. I'm definitely not going to use this piece. Now friends, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut lady's shape exactly as it is. Okay. So now friends, I have got my perfect pieces. I'm going to use these four pieces, which I'm going to place in this places. You can see it very clearly. But for this piece, friends, we are going to use a different technique because I have cut the lady's image exactly in shape. So I have to use some other trick. But first of all, let's place these pieces. So now, friends, I'm going to use some decoupage magic glue and pour it in my palette. Then using a flat hair brush, I'll apply the decoupage glue on our base canvas. And now gently start from the corner and place the paper using my finger i'm pressing it 
exactly on place so that there are no bubbles and this part okay this one is placed i want to place this one over here okay. and this piece in this part there should be no air in the paper okay now if you have some extra glue left just place it on the deeper page so now friends we have one more piece remaining which is this one the fourth one with lady which we are going to place right in this place but before that i'm thinking to do the coloring part using the acrylic colors so i'm going to pour the french rose and snow white color in my palette and now friends using a punch i'm going to one by one dab the colors on base in this way do it randomly now i'm using white and placing it in the blank parts okay so now when you have placed paint all over your canvas from one side start dabbing it just a little bit on the decoupage napkins so that you won't be able to see the difference of decoupage napkin and the canvas board okay slightly try to mix it up with the canvas and also level up this bubbles smooth in the colors so now friends i have finally completed doing all the coloring part using acrylic chalk paint if you do a heavy dapping it will leave you with few textures which will crack after some time so there is also a good way to get textures so now friends we're going to place our third and final piece on place which is this one so for that first of all uh, your base should be completely dry the paint should get dry completely then using the same flat hair brush start applying decoupage glue on the base and now I'll start placing the deeper page on place exactly where I want it to be okay okay now after placing the first layer and the painting part has also got completed and dried up you can start placing the second layer of decoupage glue in this way okay so now friends we will let this part get dry so now friends after few hours the decoupage glue have got dried up so now we can proceed on to our next step friends you have to do the next step only when your previous step gets dry for example you have to let dry the decoupage part then you have to dry the acrylic colors then only you can paste this one part and then you have to again let dry the decoupage glue for a few hours and only then you can start with your next part so now friends i'm going to use this tensile and a rose milk stone texture paste to do some texture part all over the empty coloring part okay let's place it exactly where you want want it to be here so now using my palette knife i'll take out a lot of texture paste in this way then spread it all over the stencil okay now when you have spread all the texture paste on your stencil gently lift up the stencil from one side and you'll get some kind of texture at least on the place i have got what i needed so now we will let it get dry so this place is empty i'm going to fill it up with the next design now friends my this side of texture paste have got dried up it almost took three hours to get dry such hard and good so i have got a good imprint using this paste but i think i should definitely try the real texture paste rather than the stone one let's place another layer in this part place my stencil this way i don't want the texture paste to cross the image so i won't be placing the paste i would just take it from this part so i'll again take the texture paste
Now once you have spread the texture paste all over the part where you want to place it, slightly and gently try to remove the excess part in this way. Level your texture paste once again so that you get the whole effect and then from any of the one side you can start picking it up and this is the perfect design you have got from the texture paste so now friends you have to let this part get dry and only do the texture in the remaining parts so now friends you can see that my texture paste has got dried up completely and you can clearly notice the pattern i really wish that my texture paste was of some other color so that the texture would really pop up but don't worry we have the ultimate solution which is metallic wax this is the same kind of blaze formula which we use to give a metallic look or antique look so this is a copper blaze box of 20 ml from little bird but i'm going to use the silver blaze because i have already given a try on this bit and the silver looks way better than the copper so now friends i have taken some silver blaze in my palette and then i have made it a bit fine so that i can just tap 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 my sponge brush in it in this way and then i'm going to tap it just slightly on the texture paste okay not on the plain surface you don't need to be very hard the design will ultimately get show up because of the silver touch you can see now the texture paste is very much visible than before and it is also not affecting our image okay so now friends it is finally completed we will let it get dry for a few minutes so now friends our mixed media art has got dried up completely and one and final most important step is remaining which will help your art last for a very long time the step is of varnishing so friends i'm going to use my decor varnish the gloss version to give a layer of varnish all over this canvas so what you have to do is just take your palette, pour some decoupage varnish in it. Then, using a flat hair brush, gently start varnishing it from one side. When the varnish gets dry, it will leave with a glossy look. Okay, after doing it on the decoupage part, I'm going to varnish the texture paste part. You have to be very good in doing it because it takes a lot of time and it also gets mixed up somewhere okay so now friends the varnishing part is also completed we will let it get dry for at least two to three hours as it is a mixed media art so you cannot varnish it again and again so i have given a very good and thick layer of my first layer of varnish i will let it get dry and then show you how does it looks okay so friends this is how beautiful our mixed media art looks when it is finally completed and dried up my varnish has got dried up so there will be no problem of discoloring or our texture paste getting damaged in any case. And I have used silver instead of copper because you can see the color of lady's face is a cool tone where the silver color goes more than copper or gold so I have to make few changes and I have also kept the decoupage part very clear and elegant at a time. So you can clearly notice here the paint balances the silver color and the color of lady as well as the colors of flower are complementing the whole canvas so friends this is one of the easiest way to do a mixed media art i hope you would really give it a try because it was a real fun doing it so friends please do tell me in the comments below how did you like my videos friends and if you do like my videos please do like share and subscribe my channel thank you for watching